Hello fellow traders, so we are back with another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about something very uh, simple, but also something very fundamental to trading. So um, before we start about um, this lesson, I think we'd like to say that um, getting your fundamentals right is very important because all your you know, tricks and tools build on your fundamentals. So if you don't get your fundamentals right, then uh, you know, anything that you build on it uh, will crumble. So one of the things that we always teach or we always advocate will be to trade with the trend. So naturally, that means that you must be able to identify uh, the trend, okay, and try not to trade counter trend. Of course, in certain cases, you trade counter trend, but um, you know, if you are still a new trader, you are still a struggling trader, um, try to make money following the trend. So without further ado, let's get into today's lesson. So today's lesson is about how do you identify trend. So um. I'm sure most of you know, um, let me just get this first. Okay, how do I not extend this? Just a moment. Okay, so if you, if you just, the definition of a trend, right, is actually just, uh, you know, you probably know this. Okay. So the definition of a trend goes like this. You have a high, right? Then you have a low, okay? Let me just, uh, okay, this is annoying. Okay, and then you have another low. You have another high. Just a moment, let me just, okay. So this is a lower low. Sorry, lower high, okay, and this is a higher high, higher high, right? So this is the definition of a trend. So if you look at this uh, euro dollar chart right now, okay, we can actually just draw it. Uh, one one of the tricks that I like to teach, uh, our, you know, our friends and our students would be uh switch to a line chart when you're not sure, because in a line chart you actually see it very clearly, right? You see, this is a up down, up, down. So what do we have here? We have a downtrend. But more significantly over here, this region here, we see that um, there's a, almost like a double top. Okay. So the first thing uh, that you need to know in trading is you need to identify trend. Okay. Trend. So if you look at um, Euro dollar right now at this moment, um, what's the trend? Maybe I'll give you some time to look at it. Okay. I mean, the answer should be pretty simple. Right. You have down right then you have up here okay you have a up here and then you have a down okay so what is this let's just label it okay so this is a low okay and this is a lower low so it sounds simple enough okay but this is very crucial hi so the question right now is uh will we make a higher uh, a lower high, sorry, lower high over here. Okay, so of course we won't know until uh, the market moves. But if you understand that the trend is kind of down right now, then you'll be keen to looking for shorts, right? You 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 won't really try to trade uh, this pullback here because you know that uh, you a counter trend. Okay, so the question is next question is how do you know that uh, the trend has changed? Okay, so I I think by now you also probably know that. The two usual formation is a double top. Okay, this is a double top, right? And then, you know. Okay, this is double top and the other one uh, will be the head and shoulders. All right, just pardon me as I draw this. Okay. Yes, so this is the head and shoulders, okay? So one of the mistakes that a lot of uh, new traders make is they always try to predict that, um, you know, they always try to predict that the market has topped. Okay, if you're going to do that, you're going to be wrong most of the time because, you know, a trend continues like 80% of the time. So the question is, why, why, do, why do we always have the tendency to try to predict that, you know, the trend has changed? I don't really know why, but uh, this is what most people do. So in this case, I think we have to ask ourselves, uh, let's just look at your dollar, right? Do you see any of these patterns? 
So of course, the opposite of this uh, would be double bottom as well as the inverted head and shoulders. So now we don't actually see any signs of uh, reversal yet. Okay. So if if let's say uh, euro dollar is bullish, then what we need to see is we need to see it come here. Okay. Come down, which is uh, inverted head and shoulders. Okay, and then possibly back up. Otherwise, the other sign that would be better would be we see that price closes above this level, this spike level, spike high, 1.1190. A close above would mean that uh, the up the downtrend has ended, okay, because the structure is broken. So I think one tip we like to share with you is that um, is that uh, when it comes to trading, a lot of times we look too much on a single candle. I think a lot of traders, they look too much on a single candle. I mean, think about it. Trying to use a single candle to predict the entire movement, is, it sounds crazy, isn't it? So what you should focus more on is the structure, you know, the apps and flows. Like this is a down, this is a consolidation, this is a down, you know. So don't look so much on, you know, a single candle, right? We have a lot of traders, right? Personally, ourselves too. You always look at, oh, you look at like a bearish engulfing pattern here and then you take the shot. Um, I mean, that has its place, but try to look more on a bigger picture because if one candle is able to, you know, to predict the whole movement, it, it just doesn't sound right, okay? So I think we just like to end off this lesson with really understanding your fundamentals, uh, really understanding that uh, trend is very important. You should always try to follow a trend. So just a brief recap, we we'll talk about trends being a higher high for, for bullish trend, of course, a higher high, higher low. For bearish trend, it will be a lower low and lower high. Okay, in the reversal, we're always looking for a double top and um, double bottom or inverted head and shoulder or head and shoulders. Okay, so we'll see in the next one.